Hello, lovely people of the internet, and welcome to another Let's Talk About Games with me, Hilda. I have two things I want to talk about today, which are Fantasy Life and the new Nintendo 3DS. Um, I'm just going to start with the new Nintendo 3DS because I received it yesterday and it is awesome. It came in this beautiful box, which is very heavy because it's full of books. Heavy books. A lot of trees have been murdered for this. This is it. I got the small one because I already have a Nintendo 3DS XL um, and I thought it would be good to have a pocket size one as well for my travels and also because I um, have weak hands and the XL makes my hands hurt at like a certain point. Like when I've been playing for eight hours my hands will hurt. They probably will with this one too but that's just because I shouldn't play for eight hours straight. Mm, oh well. Things I like. I'm just going to open it up. This is it. It is quite lovely, if I may say so. Um, I love the buttons that are colourful. The only thing that I'm missing at the moment is the Wi-Fi button. Is it there? I don't know how to turn off my Wi-Fi. I uh, sometimes do that when I'm on a plane because I'm terrified of things happening. Um, but I can't find it, so maybe I can't play on a plane anymore? When I opened it up, uh, the manual started and you had to do all the settings blah blah. I couldn't find the volume button because it's now here on the screen um, and I was looking for it for such a long time I couldn't find it and because um, on the XL it's here which is really annoying because when I'm in a train and I'm playing my hand would just slide it and it would go on and I would feel embarrassed uh, so now it's here which is good it also has a little clicky thing which means that it doesn't like slide up that easily. I have tried the second D-pad, what do you call it? I don't know. Um, I've tried the Monster Hunter demo. I didn't like that game that much, by the way, I'm sorry. But um, it's like that little thing that was on laptops in the earlier days, you know, in the middle of your keyboard. It's like me, but it works really well. I like it. The only thing that uh, was hard for me in the beginning is that the screen is a lot smaller than the XL um, and I was not used to that but it's a lot brighter and it's a lot um, sharper and the 3D on this so much better because you can just move your head around and it uh, tracks your head movements and it will just go along so you don't have to be all I have to keep it straight in front of my face all the time you can just go and it works and I am like that, so I don't ever turn my 3D on anyway, so I don't know why I'm uh, even saying this. I like the size, it is about the same size as um, the DSi. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker. Um, I don't know, same weight, I guess. Is that interesting for you? I don't know, but um, it is for me. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I've been playing Fantasy Life in, on it a lot, which is a good bridge to my fantasy life talk but first I want to also talk about my um, amiibo that I got I am in love with this Toon Link amiibo it's so nicely made Ooh, now I want all of them because um, it's the only one I have and it works on a new 3DS I still have to figure out how though but it does and now on to fantasy life the game that has been taken over my entire life completely for the past few months I can't Imagine any day without playing Fantasy Life for at least an hour um, because I mean I, I play it all the time If you don't know what it is, um, I wish I could show like a little screen thingy here To show you um, what it looks like if you haven't played it yet, but I don't have a capture card for the 500th time It is um, an adventure RPG collecting game by level 5? I don't know what to classify it as but um you have 15, no, 12, 4 times 3, 12, or is it 4 times 4? Anyway, you have a lot of lives, um, and there is, um, at the beginning you have to choose a life. I chose to be a carpenter, I don't know why, but I like carpenting. <laughs> so, I thought it would be a good fit for me. The fun thing about it is that when you start your life as a carpenter, it's good to after that choose a life as um, a woodcutter because then you can get the wood and then you can carpent things is that a word? I don't know and you can just all lives like intertwine at some point and it's really good what I like is that I mean I've been playing it for 
at least 150 hours now and I'm still not finished not nearly finished and I'm still liking it it's getting harder though because I can need some materials that I can't get if you have an an you known life form please give it to me <laughs> the characters are very customizable you can make them any way you want and there's a lot of items and a lot of things and so many things <sighs> because it was hard for me to um, talk about this specifically because so many things are happening in Fantasy Life. I asked some people some questions and I will answer them now. The first question is favorite NPCs. Um, I love uh, Julia the butterfly, which is very cute, um, which is not always a butterfly, but you will figure it out if you haven't played the game and you want to play it now, which you probably do because I'm so excited. Um, I like Julia, Julia, but I guess is she non-playable? Yeah, she's non-playable. She can be in your party, but you can't really be her. Um, and I really love the Great Spirit, which is like a purple big bear with braids. Um, I don't know. I like it. Most fun craft. I most fun craft. Most fun craft. Um, I'm not a big fan of the crafting part because it takes a lot of. Um, um, concentration, which I do not have. But I really like, the most thing I like is carpenting, just because you can craft like bows and swords. No, that's black smithing. Black smithing? Black smithing. Anyway, you can make weapons and tools. Uh, item you're most proud of obtaining or creating. Um, I'm not sure, but I have this, uh, I bought this item. I need to look it up for a second. So recently I bought um, the expansion pack and when you have the expansion pack you have more items and more cool stuff to do and I got the champion's blade let's try and show it the champion's blade which I think is really cool and it works really well I love being um, a mercenary because I just like the great swords it's just like yeah I feel powerful when I use it. <laughs> Another question from Denise. I really like the game, but it got a little boring after a while. Any tips on how to challenge yourself? Well, I can imagine that you get bored because you have to do all the same stuff over again. Um, but I'm a collector and I like having all the things. So for me, it's not um, that hard, but I think you could just challenge yourself by pushing yourself to get all the lives and to uh, rank up as much as you can because it will like give it, you will be rewarded because you get so much cool items and so many more things you can do and um, uh, monsters you can beat uh, and that means that you can get, get um, bounties which makes you able to create more stuff and you know be a collector that's my tip for you and Anthony asked me what would be your fantasy life my fantasy life would be a mattress tester because then I can lay in bed all day I hope that's useful for you. Why you no play Pokemon? Well, I don't. I don't know really. I'm uh, just not a very big fan of Pokemon, I guess. That was it for today. I think was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I love Fantasy Life. I love my new 3DS. It is the most beautiful thing in the world, and I will cherish it forever. And I hope you enjoyed me sitting here talking about things again. Um, I like doing it. So. Let me know if there's any topic you want me to talk about, because then I will, maybe, if it's good. If it's not good, I'm, I might. Uh, yeah, until the next time you see me, which shall be soon, I hope. Bye! <laughs>